Welcome Libra to your September spiritual reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. It's for healing reasons, growth, spiritual growth, personal growth, and it can move deep into oneself for more understanding. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. It's nice and early in the morning here, about 6.30 a.m. So, yep. Up and at them, right? Let's see what's going on with you. I am doing a two-card spread this time. And using the Oracle cards, which I usually don't, but I thought we'd change it around a little bit. And make it a little more different and a little exciting. I think different is exciting. So... Okay, friends, let's see what's going on. That's a little big for my hands. Get straight in there. Libra. Okay, I got two cards. Wow, look at this. I have Power of Attraction and Relax the Hold of Darkness and Be at Cause. Very nice. Now, here's a card I didn't, I have never had before. So many cards. <clears throat> I had this one yesterday. Um, who was that with? That was Gemini Cancer. So, if you have Gemini or Cancer in your chart, because I did a bonus reading for them. You might want to watch that one as well. Okay. Okay, so this one is talking about the power of attraction. Beautiful card. I'll let you see it up close. Love these cards. Okay. So let's see what the power of attraction is talking about over here. Like I said, I've never had this one, so I'm going to have to look it up. Okay, it says you are a big soul, and that often comes with big dreams. You might worry that you want too much out of life. Perhaps you think that you are only capable of small dreams. If you have drawn this oracle... Okay, well, we didn't draw the big, bold vision, so we're not going to worry about that. But we do know one thing. This power of attraction is literally telling you, okay, that you need to dream big, okay? Don't dream small. Okay, remember this month is yellow tablecloth, which is telling you what? We can do it. And just for a heads up for those of you who are watching, next month is going to be orange, which is going to say, I want, which is actually going to, wow, kind of intermix with this card, right? Because you won't get your next spiritual reading until later. So if you think about... Next month being, I want the emotional wants of life, right? Not the greeds of life, but the things that you really dream of, the things you really want. They're going to intermix with how you have been using the I can do it. So if you use this card and then you're saying, I want big dreams, you know, you now you need to say, I can have big dreams. I can do it, right? So you can intermix those both from this month to next month since we learned how we can do it this month, right? Okay, so kind of intermixing the two. So let's see. It says, like a big fish leaving the small pond and feeling like a rather small fish in a bigger pond, there will always be something getting used to it. Okay, time is needed as you find your way. So get used to it. Get used to saying, I can have my bigger dreams. I don't have to dream small. I think those are things in our life that we're used to hearing from our parents or our grandparents or people around us. Like, you can't have that, but you can have this instead, right? You can't have that big giant candy bar, but you can have this little tiny Rolo. I don't want the Rolo. I want the big, huge Hershey chocolate bar, right? So we need to continue to tell ourselves, and this is a part of that law and attraction, stop dreaming small, you guys. Okay, yes, with spiritual growth, we do baby steps so that way we learn 
how we do things, right? Once we start with the baby steps, you're past the baby steps. Libra, you guys have been on a spiritual journey since the time I've been doing a spiritual journey. <laughs> since I've been doing these cards, right? You guys have been going at it, going at it. It is time now for you to understand that the power of attraction is what you want. Beautiful law and attraction card. Okay? Quit settling for less. If you're finding a mate, if this is a mate, stop settling. Stop settling for that one person because, you know, that's what I'm settling for. You know, sometimes it's better to wait to find a better suited match for you within a person in law and attraction, you know, this person, than it is just to settle right? So settling could be for so many reasons. Settling for a house. You want to buy a house? You know, yeah, of course you probably won't get a mansion. Not all of you, you know, you know, we have to be realistic. But um, from your realistic base point, right? Let's go on the realistic base points here. Okay, not all of us can afford a Mercedes. Not all of it, you know what I mean? Just because I want one doesn't mean that I'm going to get it. Okay, that's not what this is talking about. This is on a realistic base point. Okay. What it means is, you know, you can afford the Hershey's. You might just have to save a little more money for that Hershey's, you know, bar. Right. But it's within your reach. So let's reach for things that are bigger that we can actually attain. Okay. I'm not telling people go out there and get the Ferrari. Okay. Please, if you can't afford that, don't do that. That's, you know, this is a realistic basis. And it really is telling me more than anything that you're settling for the smaller things when you have bigger dreams, right? Okay, so let's get a card over here. Start using that law and attraction. So using an oracle card to clarify on the power of attraction. Yes, passions ignited. Use the things that you're passionate about. If these are the things that you're passionate about and you know they're attainable and they're within your grasp and you know that you can get to these things, okay, reach for them. Don't hold back. Okay, so this card is actually talking about, I'm going to actually read from the book because I actually want to get deep, you know, dig deeper within the meaning than just the outside reason, right? So this is saying, signifies at this time to let your soul soar. New beginnings, ideas, revelations, and exciting adventures await you in your personal or business life. Creative endeavors, enthusiasm, positive energy, and a renewed spirit strength are all at an all-time high. The powerful force of spirit is flowing through you, Libra, and with it comes a new sense of purpose. This is what it's saying. Yeah, literally. So that's what it's telling you. If you already know you have this sense of purpose, if you already feel your passions ignited, then go for your dreams. Go big. Or, you know, reach inside and tap into that force. Use it to move forward and set up a strong foundation for your future. Okay. Other people may feel your excitement and joy and begin to benefit from the spark of life that's ooh, emanating from you. They'll wonder, what's your secret, Libra? And your energy could even ignite their own spiritual journey. Follow your intuition, but know that this is your time to spread your wings and fly. So when they see you using the power of attraction, when they see you doing the things that you're doing, they're going to wonder, how did Libra do that? How come, how did Libra get the candy bar when they've been eating Rolos? I'll tell you why. Because Libra worked hard for it. You worked for that. You power and attracted that candy bar. You said, you know what, I'm going to put extra money away. And this is something that I, it ignites my passion. And this is something that I want. Right? So we're going to learn to do this today. And then next month we'll go, I want, I want, I want from what my passions ignited. Not from a greed standpoint, but from a real, true passions ignited reason, right? Using your heart, using your emotions, things that you really want, okay? 
And people will, they will all of a sudden see this happening and they're going to say, what? You know, and how did you get so happy? You know, so people are going to notice this. They might already start noticing it from you already. You may even have people around you going, um, what are you so happy about? You know, and it's like, don't worry about it, <laughs> you know. Or, and then in some ways, you know, people will be like, how did you do that? How are you so happy all the time? And then you'll be like, I'll tell you my secret. Which is silly, you know? Because if you think about it, they want to know what the secret is. Like it's some like profound secret, right? And you're like, um, no, it's called me loving myself, and taking care of myself, and growing within myself. Some people are going to nose down to that, though, because they're going to not understand that. Like, what? That makes you happy? If you only knew, right? Yeah. And this is the truth. So the justice is coming out. This is going to justify everything you've been working hard for, Libra. This is going to balance you and make you feel more balanced. Because now you're going to understand that, yes, I've been going through this, this growth. I've been feeling my passions ignited. But I haven't really set forth to really set my mind on higher things right? I've been still working on the baby steps. I've still been just, you know, maybe I have five packs of Rolos now and you know what I mean? Instead of one, but now you're thinking, okay, here's the truth. The truth is you don't have to buy five packs of Rolos anymore. Save the Rolo money. And now you can have the Hershey's candy bar, right? Now you can have something bigger. So I know it's weird that I'm using candy. Maybe I want chocolate or something. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm thinking chocolate. I don't know. Okay. So and I make everybody want chocolate. Good job. <clears throat> okay. So. Okay. So, yeah. And that's, it's going to feel more justified for you because you're going to actually feel balanced. And you're going to feel like you're actually, um, oh man, it's a beautiful Libra card. So, you couldn't get more balanced than that. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So yeah. Time to take the bigger steps. Okay. So this is a, this is a great one. I did this one yesterday. I love this card. This card, as you can see from this point yesterday, it kind of looked like she was in a tornado. Now, because of this reading, I don't feel like she's in a tornado. I actually see the light this time. Um, yesterday's was so hectic, it looked like she was in a tornado. She was in chaos all over the place. But today, she actually, if, if you can see her, she's actually sitting down only on one, one foot, right? She's doing the balancing act. And there's that balance. So you are literally getting that balance. But it looks today like you're literally just being embraced in light. Just 100% embraced in light. Um, and you're literally eating that light up. You're allowing it to just consume you. And I really do believe that this is what you're doing. So you're just going to relax the hold of darkness and be at cause. You're just going to allow it to consume you. Um, for relaxation reasons, you're going to let go. Just let it all go. That way, when you're letting everything go you can start working on this power of attraction, right? So this is, this card is 26. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, because this card means just become passive and go with the flow. So when you're doing this, don't let any negative energy come in, guys. Don't allow this card to become the tornado of thought. Um, just embrace the light. Embrace your growth. Embrace the, um, I don't know, it just feels like the calmness. Um, so that way you can get your power of attraction with that, you know, with only your higher self without letting your logic come in and say, well, I don't know if I can actually, you know, save that kind of money for this, you know, candy bar. No, 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 you're going to let all that go. You're just going to embrace and go with the flow. Okay, because this one says like a, a limp leaf detached from the tree and blown around randomly by the breeze. Yeah, that's pretty much what you're going to do. You're just going to kind of relax yourself and become this leaf and just kind of blow around. Um, the reason is because 
you don't want any negative thought to hold you back from the power of attraction. Our minds can come back and say, I don't know why I'm really power attracting that. Um, I can't really afford that. I, I, you know, I think that might be in my realm, but, um, of money, you know, but I'm not really sure that this is going to happen. You start thinking negative thoughts. This will become this tornado. I just, I can tell you that right now. It's going to be a tornado of negative thoughts. So just release it. Yeah, because this says, this means being free to act and affirm the intuitive feelings we have by following up on them. Okay. So this says, being free of the dark hold empowers us to take up our cause. So don't let anything bring you down when doing so. Because that's not just holding you back and that's going to be a setback. Um, yeah, because it says, to access this reality, you have to leap from your known waters and others may think you are crazy for doing so. Like we already talked about over here. What does Libra think they're doing? All oh, happy. Okay. <laughs> you have to leave behind the dark, weighty grip of hesitation, procrastination, and second guessing and the belief you have to do everything on your own. Or in this case, the belief that you could not manifest something, that you could not save something, that you cannot do something, things that you're ignited and passionate about, right? You need to feel alive. Okay? Do not allow yourself to hold back on things that you want. Okay? So, getting over here. And let's see. It's very beautiful. So... Clarify on the relax hold of darkness and be a cause. Yes, stand your ground. Stand your ground within your own actions. Standing your ground is just pretty much, yes, take control of this. Don't allow any of that to do that. And when it starts to happen or it does happen because we're human, stand your ground against it and say, nope, this is not going to happen. Because I'm not going to allow this light to turn into some tornado in my mind. It's going to bring me off this idea of what I can have, of what I want, what I can do. Okay, so you're going to stand your ground and take the challenge. Stand your ground. Yes, Queen of Wands. You're going to use that intuition. You're going to be loyal to yourself. The Queen of Wands is a very loyal person um, and takes a lot of action. Uh, so you're going to use the intuitiveness that she has to take the action to get to where she needs to be. Be loyal to yourself. Don't allow things to take you off your throne. Okay, this is your throne. This is your time. This is what you're doing. This is not for anybody else. This is for yourself. Okay, and yeah. So you want to make sure that you're always taking action. And if those negative energies come up, make sure that you understand, hey, you know what? No. I'm standing my ground. And that was it for you for this month. And until next time, peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.